Piper with the weekend video and it's Saturday the 7th of September and we're starting off with Bitcoin this morning. I um, want to look at this correction um, rather than anything else. So, so far we have the triangle with an A, ABC A, ABC B, ABC C and it looks like we may now be getting an ABC D and then possibly an ABC E. Um, if so, we've got about another month, I say, um, with a low around 9,000, 9,500, that kind of thing. Um, and that might be a fairly clear trade. Uh, alternatives, um, it could be a A, B, C. And given that the A wave around 9,000 and the C wave around 9,4, sort of roughly equivalent, there could be a, a, a what's called a flat correction, flat ABC. This could be new and passive action. We could be going higher at this point, in which case we want to buy at this point here, obviously. Um, the other alternative, we just clear this uh, away, is that we've got an A, a B, and it's all part of some sort of complex uh, A, B, C, perhaps bigger decline. So we can't wipe it off the table yet, but obviously the support level here is uh, uh, some importance of that breaks and then that scenario would then <clears throat> become valid again. I, I think the triangle will probably hold at this point. Um, this rally is quite impressive. Um, it, it would be worth buying the low of this, this blip down if, we, if it's uh, clearly signalled. Um, because it might, it, because A, A should go to, to the, at least go to up the trend line and B it could in fact be the low and we could in fact go shooting up from a, any point around now really because in terms of time the, um, the, the triangle has gone on long enough um, and in terms of price, it looks like we're going to hold these quite high levels and not go to the lower levels I've been talking about. Again, we're not sure at this point, but uh, um, as we look at the this position at the moment, I'll just look at the longer term. So looking at this um, daily chart from the December low, we have this very solid uh, advance and this really quite feeble decline. I mean, it is a subnormal correction, however, however you look at it. Um, against the back backdrop backdrop of this uh, sort of 4x monster, if you like. Um, so this is why it's uh, you know, where the tri the triangular scenario is uh, pretty solid at the moment. There is that possibility that we're going to see more um, more downside. So it's, it's not necessarily over yet, um, but I still think we're in a very strong bull market. Um, and it's just a matter of waiting for this uh, low to come in uh, and the you know, returns could be very substantial once it does. I'm right, looking at gold, I just want to examine that there are some, some people saying that we should, we're now due a very substantial pullback in, in gold. So I want to look at the chart of fresh here from the low in August. It's very hard to see a case for a very substantial correction at the moment. I mean, that's a one, this is a two. Then we're really um, in some kind of third wave at the moment. Uh, which probably isn't over, and even even if it is over, then all we're going to see is a fourth wave. Um, I mean, it could be of some substance, but I wouldn't think it's going to go too far down. Certainly shouldn't shouldn't retest this low here, this high here, um, because obviously a wave four is not meant to penetrate the wave uh, one high. So I would say we're just due a fairly mild correction. I mean, it could be it could be a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. It could be you know some substance, um, not two hundred dollars, because it would take us down to here. But uh, yeah, it could be a reasonable decline. But I don't think it's. Uh, from an investment standpoint, I'm not too bothered about it at the moment. I think we've got more upside coming in. Uh, as to the form of the current correction, if that's wave five there, we just see a marginal new high here, so it could be an irregular, uh, clear ABC there, obviously. Um, this is a bit more, I mean, it could be an ABC, but it could also be a five. Um, so that could be a B wave, and this could be a fairly sharp C wave. Um, but there's no, I mean, it's being retested. I think we're probably going to go a bit, bit lower at this point, but I'm not sure we're going to go much lower. Looking at silver, we have the uh, one, two, uh, one, two, three, triangular four, blow off five. Um, but again, if, it's, if, it, if that's a complete three, then we shouldn't come back below this level here, quite a long way down, of course, but uh, already done about half that, I think. Um, and if it's just one of three, then I mean this might be, um, well, almost at the lows, but let's look at the form of that first. Now the move on silver is more clearly an impulsive move, although it's yet to prove that. Um, that could be an A. Sharp snapback, sellers come in again. 
Um, I think it's your further to go, but again, I don't think it's going to be a, a, a massive move. Um, so I'm not planning to chop out of my investments at the moment. Um, and just w wait for the next buying opportunity. When I look at the S&P, we have this uh, impulsive looking decline. We have a one, two, three, four, five. We've got a sell signal here, which I duly alerted people to. Um, I mean, it's quite a solid sell signal, but we did fall back, but then buyers came in and pushed us higher again. Um, not quite sure where we are now. We've gone back to the 78.6 level. We need to wait developments, really. I mean, this, this, there's no sign of a sell signal at this point. There was some good news here. I mean, the we have a market that's governed by Trump's tweets at the moment. Um, some some good news on the well, news of a meeting with China, I think, um, which is partly 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 caused this rally. Um, it's a rather strange situation when the one man who just wants to be re-elected next uh, next year um, seems to have quite a lot of control over the stock market merely by sending out a tweet. Um, so that's a, I think it's probably a first um, for a major market. Dow shows the same, really a pretty impulsive pullback within this tight range and then a bit of a sell-off coming in but buyers again came in. Possible five moves up here so we could see a reversal, one, two, three, four, sorry, time again, one to there, two, three, four, five, um, 78.6 around uh, 26,888. I mean, so the trigger points are the September and the October expiries. Um, the September expiry is now two weeks away. Uh, similar pattern on the DAX. We saw these five ways down. Now I've got an A, a B, and a C. Um, the reversal here came in right at the right on this uh, target. I had at 12.067. I think it was about five points of drift or something. Um, if we look at the uh, form the latest wave here we have got five waves again one two three four possible fifth wave up to there so you know the the bear case is actually alive and well at this point on the DAX uh, and sell off come next week would be uh, would, would be another sell signal all right on to FTSE we have again five waves down pretty sharp five waves down a much more feeble rally as the uh, Brexit um, saga continues with Boris Johnson now being told what he has to do, which seems rather almost unconstitutional for the for Parliament to vote to tell the Prime Minister what he has to do, but maybe it's not. Um, so again, I think it's a pretty good case there for uh, a sell-off to develop. Um, and so you know, the next few months are quite critical in this context. So uh, I'll be looking out for another sell signal, um, maybe quite soon. Um, well, that's all today. I hope you found that interesting and useful. Back to report on Tuesday morning. Um, have a great weekend. Thanks for listening and bye for now.